going to kick off with Vinnie O'Connor from Sky. Hello, Vinnie. Hi, Simon. Hi, Pepper. I hope you're well. Um, I just wanted to follow on from reports today about a possible new contract for John Stones. Uh, where exactly is that at? A, a talk to, uh, at an advanced stage and just how deserving is John of that potential new contract? I don't know. No comments. It's not my business. He's a and agent from, from John. The fact, though, that we're talking about John like that, does that give an indication of just how big a turnaround there has been for him in, in regards to his form and the way he's performed for you over, over this season? Yeah, he had a good, a good, good moment uh, during our period here. But obviously, this season was the best season he had played with us because he had no injuries. He was stable, and and that's why he he made a a really good season. We just spoken to Riyad in the press conference. He said the Champions League is the thing that we are missing, but he also went on to say, in Europe, it is the best thing that you can play for. What does this competition mean to you now, Pep? It's nice, like Premier League, like uh, uh, the important ones, and 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 uh, yeah, we are in uh, last stages, semi-finals, and uh, try to go to Paris to win the game. Thank you, Vinny. Uh, next, we go to Simon Stone. Hi, Pep. Um, obviously, it's not your first semi-final. It's Manchester City's second. We're used to certain teams, Barcelona, Real Madrid, Man United, Liverpool, Bayern, being in these games. Is Manchester City and PSG a semi-final for now? These are two teams who are growing, who will be part of this elite in future years. Uh, but means that is the second time, just the second time we are there. Of course, we are not in the elite in this competition. That's for sure. Uh, but we want to be there since uh, our owners took over the club one decade ago. Did they make a steps and steps to improve in the in, in England first of all, in the Premier Leagues, in the cups, and uh, we <coughs> we got in the last decade from you know the owners, but many many players, many many. Uh, managers, so uh, backroom staff, so got this position right now and uh, yeah, in the last years every time we play this competition, European competition, Champions League and uh, we are lucky to live right now where we are and uh, never, but now before it's not the right word but a uh, few times I was incredible happy like right now I am to travel with this club to Paris to play, to play a semi-final with the target, the objective, could be ourselves and win the game. And, uh, and after, go to Crystal Palace to win one of the two games we need to be champion in the Premier League, the most important competition. I would say the Champions League is, I, is the nicest one, but the important one is the Premier League. And, uh, and after, next Tuesday, more than one PSG in Manchester to try to, to reach the final. This is the position, the feeling that I have right now. Thank you, Simon. Um, Ian Abrahams. Hi, Pat. How are you? Good, Ian. And you? Uh, good. Congratulations on Sunday. Um, I just wonder if you could tell us about, I mean, on Sunday we saw so much joy from you uh, winning the League Cup on the pitch with your staff and your players. It was almost like it was the first trophy you'd ever won in your entire career rather than the amount you have won. Can you just give us an idea of what winning the Champions League would mean to you, having seen how much winning the League Cup meant to you on Sunday? Every time you get older, you realise how difficult it is winning the titles. It's so far to behind and it's behind the scenes. If you start the next season and say, oh, you have to win one title, it doesn't matter which one, I said, oh my God, how difficult it would be. And, uh, and of course, it's not the more important title, the... The, the Carabao Cup, but once we are there, was incredible happy that moment. It's not much time to joy. It's the same like we won quarterfinals finally and get the semi final against Dortmund. We didn't have just one night to enjoy it because the day after we have in two days semi final FA Cup against Chelsea. 
And when we travel back to to you know to Manchester after after the game against Tottenham, so it's just in our minds it's just PSG PSG. So no chance. So and now I'm not thinking at all to win or not win the the Champions League. It's just to win tomorrow. So um, I said to the players, so travel there to to be ourselves and win the game. We have to win the game, and that is the idea. We we travel there. Thank you, Ian. Uh, Mike Minay, BBC Manchester. Hi, Pep. Um, I think I think there's only a handful of players, three or four players that played in 2016 in the semi-final. Is that an advantage or a disadvantage? It's a long time ago. It was another two players, I think, it's Benjamin and when Benja was injured, Bernardo played semi-finals when, when he was in the, he was in Monaco and second Juventus. And uh, I don't think the other ones play, you know, play this, these stages in these competitions. Most of them is the first time. That's why we don't have to think much about that. So many players play a lot of times and after they made a good perform, bad performance and the guys have not been there never and play a good performance. So what you have to do is focus in the game, the strength that they have, the weakness point that they have and, and try to, and try to, to win the game. We we travel with this idea. No, no more than that. How, how is the squad as well? How is the squad looking injury wise? Everyone, everyone fit. Everyone, uh, yeah, everyone is fit and ready and uh, and happy. I think. I think all the players, all all of us, is a uh, is a uh, yeah. Only as a manager on this club and this in charge of this place, the Bargum staff is the grateful to to give us all ourselves this opportunity to be in there. So when the club is normal every year, like, I don't know, Madrid, Barcelona, Bayern Munich, uh, you know, the elite, elite, elite players, that teams that they have many, 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 many Champions League in their, in their, in their cabin. So sometimes it's a normality to play this position for ourselves is something new. And that's why it's, we are incredibly grateful to leave it. And, and we are, we were looking for, this group of players many years, you know, to 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 be here and for us is a it's incredible. It's like a you know something new, first time, and it's so it's so nice, so nice to go to Paris with all of us, all, yeah, all, all these kind of people. Thank you, Mike. Um, <coughs> Paul Ballos. Hi, Paul. Hi. Buenas tardes, Pep. Buenas tardes. Um, we've seen in the past teams like, for example, the Spanish national team that when they overcame that mental wall that they had, for example, like in quarterfinals of a competition, that moment was a breakthrough for them, like to play, like to play more free without this kind of mental pressure. Is it something that you can relate to your Man City team playing these semifinals now, or something that can benefit your Man City team? No, break break the quarterfinal doesn't mean it's going to help you to reach the final. You reach the final is you would do good games first of all the first one so uh, i assure you so when when of course it was a relief when we got the semi-finals because now next season like we are going to play this competition because we already qualify what we have done in the premier league so it's the fact to say okay we arrived there we are able to do it and sometimes it's important but they don't give you the chance to reach the final or win the final so i'm not thinking for one second about the results i know exactly what you have to do but it's just in the second leg. So we just one game at a time, we go there, try to win that game. Uh, like we have done many, many times this season, is win that game. It doesn't matter result, it doesn't matter goals uh, for, against, is win that game. And we're going to try when they come back here to win that game. Don't think much of that. And I know exactly what I'm going to tell them, the strategy I wanna, we want to do to, to try to do it. Thank you, Paul. Um, next, we go to Jack Gorn. Hi, Pat. Um, I know that PSG have got loads of players that can affect the game and change the game. With Neymar's unbelievable talent, very unpredictable. Could play off the left, could play through the middle. How, um, how much do you as a manager relish preparing for these tactical battles and trying to keep someone like that quiet? Always, I believe the quality of these players, the amount of quality of the players, they are not defensive uh, strategies to stop them. They are too, you know, too much good. <laughs> I tried to sleep well this last night. 
And I was like, well, when I was not thinking on them, <laughs> that is a reality. So they are they are incredible, top, top, top players. That's why I'm playing that team and the quality they have. So, And hopefully they can play and do a good, uh, uh, you know, we're going to try to start them in the way we're going to do. Defend well, all together as a team and play good football as a team and, and try to, to score goals. So will not be a surprise. So, of course, we have to adjust something. So when you play against that players a little bit, but uh, <coughs> in the same times, let's try to, you know, to... We'll, we'll have no sense what we fought arriving in his stage for many, many years, just second time in our history. This group of players, four or five years, we're doing it will be no sense. Now don't be who we are. So... Of course, you have to adjust something. Like we adjust against Tottenham, for example. Like we are going to adjust against Saha, uh, Crystal Palace next game. So this is normal. But try to to impose or to to be to be to be what we have done these five years together. And and I'm pretty sure that we're going to try to to be ourselves and and get the the result that we need for the second leg. Mike McGrath. Hi, Pep. Is, is that the, the balance for, for a coach where you've you got to balance your own um, attacking philosophy, but you're also playing against some of the best club, uh, best players in the world? Is it almost impossible to dominate a game for, for 180 minutes? You have to adapt to what they do. Mike, the best balance is have the ball. If you had the ball all the time, the balance, the team is already there. Is the only way. Is the only way. We are going to concede contracts. We are going to concede chances from PSG. It's impossible. Because if you defend so deep, they have the quality, not just Mbappé, Neymar, or Di Maria as incredible player, Berratti, how extraordinary it is, and, and you know, Paredes and the physicality they have, the personality, especially for Marquinhos. So the good keeper. So they have a lot of weapons. So they are using in the French League to play against teams that they set back. 90 minutes, and they have to find the resources to attack in that. And when you play against teams like Bayern Munich, and they attack, attack, and then they can kill you as a, a counter-attack. So they are not the best way to defend against the teams because they have everything. And um, and the only way to, to minimize these kind of things is impose your game. Like we have built since five years ago when we arrived to say, okay, we're going to try to do it and in the best way. Because, of course, Lyon... They beat us in the counter-attack and the two, three mistakes we've done. But we, we we try to impose our game. Sometimes it's not possible. So and and I learned maybe from my experience in this competition that as much you are close in the last stage as who you are, more chance you are to, to get through. Um when you are thinking much about the opponents, about they do, and because they are so good. But it's good Madrid as well. And Chelsea, we saw it. And just in case Bayern Munich were there the same, or Barcelona. Imagine now Barcelona and the incredible top form they are, face them right now. So it will be difficult. In, in this stage, just you don't find opponents that don't have real skills. We face Dortmund like Haaland is incredible top striker and a good people up front with Royce. Unfortunately, Jadon Sancho didn't play Borussia Dortmund. So every team has the skills. But they know the opponents that you have to. In these kind of games, he imposed better to the opponent. And our, not our way. I think the way we enjoy to play or the way we like to do it is, is have the ball. And when you have the ball and you use it in the right moments, in the right position, the players, the team is balanced. The team is not because we are more physical, you defend more, or you defend more deeper, you defend more. That, for me, my point of view, this is not true. It's the way you play with the ball is like you create the stability in the team and that is going to try to do it tomorrow thank you mike um ian ladyman hi pat um two um questions if that's okay um the first one is um you talking about neymar and about how if you think too much about that then you you won't sleep well in the in the two games that psg played at home to barcelona and at home to bayern um, they came through both times, but they conceded a lot of chances to Barcelona, especially in the first half. Barcelona probably could have scored four or five times. 
and they conceded chances to to buy and also surely if if you do want to sleep tonight then maybe if you have a bit of a think about that then that might encourage you a little Ian, uh, uh, sorry, maybe I understand. Are you talking when I, I was with Bayer and faced Barcelona? No, no, no. Sorry, the, the um, sorry the, the PSG games recently. Ah, with Bayer this year. Ah, okay, sorry. And against, sorry. And against Barcelona yeah. in Paris, yeah. Barcelona had a lot of chances. Bayer yeah. had yeah. a lot of That's chances. Sorry. Yeah, but you know, when you play with a result one four, the second leg, you are relaxed. You have nothing to lose, and that's why you are more going there. So, like all the managers, we want in. So we want to create a lot of concede feel, but sometimes it's not, not not possible. So we know we are going to suffer in both games, and they are going to have chance. Only we want is what we can do to create our chance too. So I know the weapons they have up front. So. Every every single person who lost football, um, manager, football player, journalist, pundits, everybody knows the quality they have. So we are going to deny. So, but in the same time, we are in the semi-final of Champions League. We can expect we're going to play in a low average players. Of course not. But I I think PSG is not just the two players that of course make the difference. There are many many other situations, and we have to know them, and we have to talk about them, and we have to try to them. But in the same time, so. Are going to play 90 minutes thinking about uh, how good is uh, this player or the other one, or try to do what we want to do. And uh, I learned from Johan Cruyff. So when you arrive at the stage, just only one thing you cannot do is enjoy the game and enjoy being the responsibility, the pressure. Enjoy the pressure. Enjoy the responsibility. Enjoy the fact that uh, maybe you are not living more this kind of situation. That is the elite. And the top players enjoy the situations because they take responsibility, and that's why the greatest, the greatest win these competitions. The greatest clubs win these competitions because they play this competition as a friendly game. When in all sports, all sports, and that is one I want to see in my team, and that is going to try to to do it. When I presume Cruyff told you that when you were at Barcelona. Sorry. I presume Cruyff told you that when you were at Barcelona. Yeah, by the mythical, the 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 mythical sentence just one minute before to go to Wembley and play our first final, the Champions League that we won in '92 against Sampdoria. The first one, it was get out and enjoy. Uh, but I know that is not the sentence I'm going to say to the players. I'm not Johan Cruyff, and I want to see it. I'm not going to tell them. Absolutely not. So. Um, but there is a moment enjoying the fact that they enjoy today the travel, you know, the, the coffee you're going to take in the terminal in the in the in the airport, the hotel, the night, the night in the hotel tonight, our dinner together, watching the other semi-final. Um, enjoying right now the press conference. And uh, tomorrow, you know, enjoy the hotel, the walk, if you're training, all the process is not about the moment you're going to play. We are in privileged to be one of the best four teams in Europe this season. And and it ha- must be enjoyed today, the training and everything. And this is what I would love to to see my players in the backroom staff and everyone, because we know how tough, how struggle, how difficult it is to be here. And and that's why Johan Cruyff and the, the idea was like this. So guys, once we arrive in the final of the Champions League, it's not the reason why to you know, to be worried, to be sad, or to be too much concerned what is going to happen in the future just in case we don't lose. If we don't lose, we don't lose. Tomorrow, we're going to try again, next season, back again. So once we arrive in these stages, you are nervous because you are thinking about the consequences. You are not thinking in the joy to play this game and what you have to do to beat them, the pleasure to beat them to try to face them and say, okay, you are good, we are good too, let's go, let's to try if we can do it. This is the this is the, the mindset that the greatest teams, the greatest athletes the, in all the sports, they have. And if we want to make this a statement, like we have done during many years in this club in uh, in England, we did it already in Champions League, great in the semifinals and trying to, to you know, to, to, to do it the next, the next one. Thank you, Ian. Uh, Fred Caldera. Hi, Pep. Um, the first time you faced Neymar was on the 2011 World Club Cup. 
he was playing for Santos back then. He was at 19 years of age and already one of the most promising young players in football. Do you think that now, almost 10 years later, has he developed to be the player that you personally expected him to be? I remember when I showed Santos in that moment, I showed some clips, 10 or 15 clips on action for Neymar. And I saw, I remember I told him, this is the king of Santos. And all the players was like the, the, uh, the, the, you know, the, the mouth open said, oh my God, what a player. And um, it's, a, it's, a, it's an enjoy to watch. As a spectator, I enjoy it a lot every time. It's nice to watch his plasticity, but not just the effectiveness, the personality. He has in his shoulders Brazil, you know, number 10 from Brazil is not easy to wear. And, uh, and I'm pretty sure if Neymar would have a stay in Barcelona, Barcelona will have win two or three Champions League more uh, with a couple of three guys. With a, I faced them with Barcelona, with Luis Enrique, with Neymar, Messi, Luis Suarez. That was the best three unstoppable guys I ever seen up front in my life. And I'm pretty sure he will stay. They won't achieve uh, more in that situation. But he decided to go to Paris. Like I would say, it's not a bad decision. But it looks like a nice city. It looks like a nice club and everything. I've not been there, but it looks like from outside. And uh, what I want is uh, he can have stability, no injuries again. He can play regularly in the regular way. In the last years, for many reasons, could not do it. But as I am a big admirer. A big admirer because I think he helps to make our football better, and um, and it's a pleasure for me for us to play semi-finals against against PSG against them, and I'm pretty sure we're going to try to beat them. Thank you, Fred. Uh, Simon Baskowski. Hi, Pep. Um, Kylian Mbappe is another player you've enjoyed watching for a while. Um, how do you think he's developed at PSG? And what is it particularly about his game that, that you like so much? No, no, a player. So, young player, he will have, he will have uh, the world football ahead of him in the next years. He's already champion in French, World Cup, so... Quite, quite similar Haaland in terms of, oh my God, how many goals to score, how pace, how fast it is. So, yeah, exceptional player. And looks like a nice guy. Mendy is uh, his friend, always tell me he's an exceptional person. So, another player like Neymar is good for a football. They they can play and then play and do a good performance. But we're going to try to beat them, both of them and all of them. Paul Hurst. Hi, Pep. Um, you seem um, incredibly relaxed at the moment, considering it's a, kind of a big match going over. Do you sense that in your players as well, that they are actually quite relaxed and will enjoy the match and enjoy the preparations as well? Always always it happened in uh, in my career in this competition when I arrived at session semifinals. And always I was more calm than, than other competitions at the moment. I don't know why, but I have the, the sense of the, the, work, the work well done already. Uh, and I, I, I see the team so happy in the, the, the right moment for the tension, the responsibility, but in the same moment to say, okay, we're going to try to, to do a good game, to do, to do a first good game. I have that feeling. But in this competition, you arrive and when the qualities you can, you know, win or lose. So you never know. But I think I have a good, a good mood, a good, good, yeah. Good situation. Dave McDonald. Hi, Pep. Um, you mentioned Mbappe just now. I mean, there's obviously a parallel there with Phil Foden, uh, two of the most exciting young players in Europe. Obviously, Phil's at a different stage in his development, but the way he's matured this season, Phil, the way he's growing in, in influence, can he have the belief that he can be at the same level as a player like Mbappe and belong at this, at this stage? Yeah, they play in different positions. Both are... Uh... A young, incredible talent, skills, uh, player. So no doubt about that. So everyone, his own career is, they are completely different, you know, quality positions. It's difficult to compare, you know, players. So this is just uh, important is that, uh, of course, I'm pretty sure PSG is so happy to have a, uh, Mbappé with them, and you cannot imagine, David, how incredible, happy we are that have a feel like grew up in the academy, like he's a Man City supporter. 
and uh, he's already a player like uh, he's a status already here national team so and it just because he won that on the grass so you don't know me but I don't give presents to the players when they don't deserve it I'm not here but just to be Man City fan you are going to play so he's playing lately or he's playing in a good level he's playing lately because he's playing a good level and this is the only reason um, last question in English before we take a couple in French uh, from John Murray. Hi, Pat. You know, you know what you say there about um, as you get older, you appreciate it more and everything you've said about enjoying this sort of moment. When you get older, do you have those thoughts about, well, I don't know how many more of these there might be? And and perhaps the, the pandemic over the course of the of the last year has taught us there are no guarantees, are there? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Maybe it's the every title is a special what we want together here in in Munich in Barcelona. We want for many reasons. We are just the face to the media. You know, it looks like we are the responsible of that. But how many work are behind the scenes and then people working? The players, the first ones. That is the reason why we. We want it, but this season, especially this season, is something special for all of us and make me feel special. What this players has done, everyone is more remarkable. So we are two victories away in this. Like this year is difficult for everyone, and for you, John, for your family, for every families around the world, it was so difficult. You know, uh, we lost part of the families, uh, members of the families, everyone, so friends, so. It's difficult. Being so consistent in that season means how grateful uh, we are. But of course, it's not finished. So we need two titles still to fight. One, we are close. It depends on us. And tomorrow, we start a dream. So what I want is just, uh, if you tell me one of desire, what we want, I don't want to win tomorrow. I don't want to go to a final. I want to be ourselves in the way we play. That is my wish, my dream for, for tomorrow. And, and it's happened after the players, the quality, they will decide, not the manager, no Mauricio, no myself. So this is the point. Okay, we'll take a couple of questions in, in French. We'll start with Alexandre Berto. Bonjour. Um, Bonjour. De, du côté du Paris Saint-Germain, c'est la participation ou non dès le coup d'envoi de Marquinhos. Um, ça changera beaucoup de choses au PSG. Sorry, sorry, Alexander, sorry. Oh. The translator, I don't listen. You have to speak louder. Okay. Um, je disais l'incertitude uh, au Paris Saint-Germain, c'est la participation ou non de Marquinhos. Um, est-ce que ça change quelque chose pour Manchester City Ça change quelque chose pour Paris, mais est-ce que ça change quelque chose dans la manière dont Manchester City va jouer Is going to play. Marquinhos is going to play. He's not going to miss this game. I'm pretty sure of that. And I want him to play. Okay, thank you. Uh, next, we go to Damien Degore. Bonjour, Pep. Vous m'entendez? Vous m'entendez? Yeah. Oui, oui bonjour. Uh, je vous entends dire, répéter que vous allez devoir jouer, être vous-même au Parc des Princes demain. You are going to be yourself, you said, during this press conference. Uh, Bayern Munich and Barcelona uh, said the same thing before the game. Uh, Bayern has uh, had 75% of possession during the, the first game. Et, et, a, et finalement, a perdu. Est-ce que finalement, c'est possible d'être soi-même vraiment contre le Paris Saint-Germain Okay, like, yeah, yeah, like uh, like they lost. It was a bad strategy. Like they have a 30 shoots on target, and they lost. And by in by in PSG have four or five, and they win. So, your football is the only game unpredictable. So, like uh, you can be have more chances, and you can lose. You have better statistics, and you can lose. But that's why football is fantastic. So. So, listen, we're going to try to do our game knowing that sometimes it's not possible because PSG is a fantastic team and and, and can happen. But know what would happen 
so the important thing about that game, the PSG Bayern Munich, is the game was so good. And do you know what's so good? And you enjoy it as well? It's because Bayern Munich tried to attack and PSG tried to attack. And what that's happened, the football is nice. And I think tomorrow is going to 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 happen the same. We have to be cautious in some department. Maybe we're not going to to do what do we normally we do. We have to to protect more, or maybe not. So I don't know. So the the football sometimes dictates their own um, way and their own strategy more than the the manager wanna 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 to do. But if you tell me that uh, um, Bayern Munich should uh, thirty. I don't know, shoots and target, and they lost. They don't have to shoot 30 shoots to win the game. I'm sorry, but I'm not agree with you. Okay, a question from Benjamin Juarez. Bonjour, Pep. Mm -hmm. Bonjour. Au début de la saison, vous avez gagné 75% de vos matchs quand Kevin De Bruyne était titulaire. Euh, est-ce que vous pouvez dire quelques mots sur son influence dans votre équipe Et euh, est-ce que c'est pour vous le meilleur milieu de terrain en Europe en ce moment Bang. What can I say about uh, Kevin? The influence is so important for us. Of course it is. Of course it's so important. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, some some periods of the of the season was injured, but uh, we saw, we solved it with uh, another players, and and tomorrow with the same. We're going to do it all together. Thank you. And last question then is from Dominic Faure. Hola uh, Pep, uh, vous n'avez encaissé que, que trois buts cette saison en, en, en Ligue des Champions. Uh, Est-ce que c'est juste une, une question de qualité défensive ou de contrôle de la balle uh, que vous avez encore amélioré Contrôle de la balle. My French is super, extraordinaire. <laughs> 